Hi, everybody. I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media in Westwood One. And there is a crisis in pay television. Audiences for advertisers for cable are plummeting. They're plummeting locally. They're plummeting nationally. How can radio make your TV better? Well, the pay TV crisis has been in the news lately, but there is a solution. Reallocating TV budgets to AM FM radio can recover all of the lost cable audiences and generate significant incremental reach. Well, if you open up the newspaper over the last couple of weeks, you saw the blaring headlines about the dispute between Charter Spectrum Cable and Disney. And this seemed different because you saw headlines like this, where a cable operator is saying the pay TV business model is broken. You have a Wall Street analysts that are encouraging cable operators to drop TV because TV is unprofitable for cable companies and broadband is much more profitable. But despite the fact that the charter Disney fracas resolved, uh, after uh, about 11 days, there are still significant issues in the pay TV ecosystem. The most respected media analyst firm out there, Moffitt Nathanson, has identified what they call the twin doom loops, doom loops of pay TV. On the left is the sports fee doom loop, and on the right, is the quality programming moving out of cable and into streaming. So starting on the left, the sports networks are raising their fees, the cable companies passing on those fees to consumers, and then consumers in turn canceling cable, especially those who are entertainment viewers who really aren't interested in sports, canceling cable in droves, and going to streaming. The right-hand side of your screen, you have the leading media content providers, the programmers, who are prioritizing the best shows, the quality shows for their streaming platforms, not their cable platforms. So what does that do in turn? It pushes more and more consumers away, entertainment viewers defecting in droves to streaming rather than traditional cable. So this crisis is ongoing and getting worse and worse and worse. In the case of the recent Disney charter issue, there was a almost two week blackout where 22 million American consumers could not receive the Disney and ESPN networks. And the issue was especially severe in local markets where Spectrum and Charter operated. You had markets where the audience losses were 23 to 60 percent, 15 to 23 percent, 42 markets, and then a bunch of markets with erosion in audience from 5 to 14 percent. So this affected national advertisers, but even more significantly, local advertisers in the 42 affected markets. Now, how can radio make your TV better? Well, for that, we turn to Nielsen's media planning and optimization platforms, Nielsen Media Impact and ComsPoint. And one of the first things you discover when you operate one of these media planning platforms is that a dollar on radio goes much further than a dollar on television. A dollar on radio will reach way more people than the same spend on TV. Let's take a look. In blue, is reach on American radio at various spend levels. In gray is the same money on linear television. So to the left of your screen, let's take a look at somebody spending a million dollars nationally to reach 2554s. Well, on TV, that million dollars gets you about 14% reach. The same million dollars on AM FM radio gets you a 38% reach. So almost triple the reach for the same money. And as you look, look across the spend levels, radio always outreaches TV regardless of the spend. The best rule of thumb you can use to make your TV better is to take 20% of your linear TV investment and shift it 
to AM FM radio. Now, regardless of your budget, whether you're a local advertiser or a national advertiser, big or small, that 20% reallocation can have a significant and positive impact on your campaign reach. So let's take the case of a national advertiser spending half a million dollars. They reach 8% of 2554s, taking 20% of that investment shifting it over to AM FM radio, the reach goes from 8% to 18% over double the reach. In fact, if you look at a million or $2 million, in both cases, that 20% reallocation doubles the reach. When you get to four or $6 million, that reallocation of 20% of the TV budget over to uh, radio gets you reach in the order of 50 to 75%. What's stunning here is we're not increasing the budget. This is the same budget, a modest 20% reallocation to AM, FM radio, a significant increase in reach. So let's take a, a case study. Look at IBM, who a year ago in September spent $15 million on television, a lot of it going to ESPN and ABC. So assuming they ran the same buy uh, this September, they would have seen erosion over the last couple of weeks in their deliveries because of the spectrum blackout of ESPN and ABC that would have resulted in about $1.3 million of make goods. They took that million three and instead of doing make goods, they were reinvested into AM FM radio. What would happen to campaign reach? So first, let's take a look at the original IBM buy against persons 18 plus, the $15 million, which was about a third of it was run on ESPN, about a third on Fox, about a quarter on ABC, and a little bit sprinkled on other networks. That 15 million generated a reach of about 46% of Americans, a little bit less than half, pretty impressive. Now, if we took the same budget and took just 9%, just 9%, and reallocated to AM FM radio, watch what happens to the reach. It goes from 46% to 72%. That's a 57% increase by moving a modest 9% of the linear TV budget over to radio. 57% increase in reach at the same budget. Now, while the charter Disney issue is behind us for the moment, Look at this chart. This is the growth of the pay TV universe year over year going back to 2015. It is hemorrhaging advertiser audiences. And you can see the reach keeps accelerating down. The audience keeps dropping more and more and more. So this is going to keep happening. They're going to keep having these blackouts and the erosion is going to continue. In fact, according to Moffat Nathanson, the Wall Street analyst firm, in Q2 2023, the pay TV universe dropped 11.5%. So the erosion in your cable media plan is accelerating dramatically. The solution is let radio make your TV better. As we saw, radio comes to the rescue. Radio can recover that lost reach from the pay TV erosion, from the pay TV crisis, and dramatically increase reach. We saw in the case study with IBM that the rule of thumb of moving 10 to 20% of linear TV budgets over to radio hedges your media plan against the pay TV crisis and actually generates larger reach than any buy that you had before. The Audio Active Group here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One is a full service brand advisory for national marketers offering media planning recommendations, creative testing, and most importantly, measurement. We will measure sales effect, brand lift, or search and site attribution. And all of these studies are conducted on your entire audio plan, not just the Westwood One investment. Each and every week, we publish a new audio case study and insight. You can find it on our blog, cumulusmedia.com or westwoodone.com. And when you're there, sign up to get the weekly audio case study sent directly for free to your email box. Thanks so much. 
for taking you through the pay TV crisis and how radio can make your TV better. Thanks so much.